guys! So today's video is going to be a haul. I went to Target today. Literally the most exciting I the the most exciting thing I did today was adventure to Target and it was like four o'clock. <laughs> so I went to Target for one thing and I came back with $80 worth of stuff. Happens all the time. Um, but I have some really, really exciting things that I'm really excited about. And I haven't bought makeup in a while, so I decided that maybe splurging on some makeup is not a totally bad thing. First, two things that I'm so, so excited about um, are two shirts that I have. And they're sort of out of season, but I, I don't care. Um, and this first one was originally 20 bucks, and I got it for 6 And it's this cobalt blue sort of cropped shirt and it's a high low and at the back it's a uh, lace detailing and it's like flower florally lace and it's really really pretty i really love it and it'll go really nicely with the pants that i'm wearing right now and this one is my favorite out of the two that i bought i just absolutely love the pattern on this one this one was originally 18 and i only paid 850 for it and it looks like this and it just has a cutout at the back. This one's a little shorter than the other one, but that's okay because I have pants that go above my belly button that I recently bought at American Eagle. So I'm really, really excited about that. And then I totally splurged on makeup. I really wanted a new eyeliner because my Black Track Fluid line that I've been using for like two years is dried out and broken and just terrible quality right now. So I might go buy another one, or if I really like, um, I looked everywhere for pen eyeliners that are like, like the liquid felt tip type ones. I found like three different kinds, and I bought the cheapest one, obviously. Um, and it's just the NYC High Definition Felt Tip Eyeliner. I'm really, really excited to try it out because I love a good winged liner. That's pretty much been my makeup for a while now. Next couple things that I bought are all lip products, and there are, uh, two of them are from NYC as well, and then one of them is from Annabelle. I bought two lip glosses. One, I'm pretty sure I should have tested this one out in the store, but I didn't because I'm wearing it right now, and it is just too shiny. Like, too shiny. I feel like this is something you would wear like if you were an astronaut. I actually have a lip gloss that is really really close to the I found my lash glue. Nice. Um that's really close to this, but it's like way like 20 years old. Um but yeah, it just looks like that and it is in pros Prosper Pink uh Prospect Pink 576 and it is the liquid lip shine. And um a little too shiny if you ask me and then I'm really really into lip liners and lip gloss I have a total of four lip liners now which gets me all excited um, most of them are ones that I bought from Flormar in Barcelona I just spat everywhere um, but it's just a clear lip gloss to put over it and and then I got this Annabelle lip liner in boysenberry I think is what it's called yeah and it's this really 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 pretty berry color um, I actually have it with lip gloss over it um, but on its own. It is such a pretty matte berry color. I absolutely love it. And and I'm really, really excited to wear this in the fall. I think it's going to be so pretty. I also got a new mascara. It's not new new. I have bought this one before. It's a repurchase for me. It's Maybelline Falsies and I made sure not to get the waterproof one because as you guys know, I'm terrible with labels. Um, I have bought by accident lactose-free yogurt, spicy ketchup, spicy um uh not pasta sauce um pizza sauce so sad about that one and also about waterproof mascara so i made sure to read the label on this one and i got it in very black non-waterproof and the next two items that i bought are for my face um i bought a sonia kashuk brush which i'm so excited to use this is the flat top foundation brush which i'm so excited about it's so soft oh my goodness and I wasn't even gonna buy a brush but I just passed by the Sony cash section and I was like mm, I want a brush so I bought one to go with this new foundation brush I bought a new foundation 
And it makes me really sad because they have a matte version of this one and it's the clean finish by uh, Rimmel. But they only had ivory and true ivory and that is way too pale for me. So I was very, very upset. So I just bought the regular one and it's in classic beige 250 and I'm hoping it's dark enough. And the best part about this foundation, you guys, I'm so excited. It comes with a spatula. There is a spatula on the end so that you can get all of the foundation out. So excited about that. That is probably the most exciting thing about this foundation ever. Um, it also said that there's um, vitamin E and A in it. I also just bought some awesome women's stuff. Yeah. I think that's everything. Oh, no. I forgot the most exciting thing in my haul. So... Target came to Canada last spring, and I love Target. Oh, Target is like my favorite store ever. That is like, that's a store like that is my favorite. And Elf in the U.S. sells, or Targets in the U.S. sell Elf, but I didn't think that Canadian Target sold Elf because I've never seen them before. And so I was, I was walking to the cash register. I just noticed like the matte black packaging that they have. And I turned around and I went, oh my god, we have e.l.f. So I bought something that is so exciting for me. It's the, I don't know where the box went. Um, oh, Jesus. And it's the e.l.f. blush and contouring package duo thingy that I'm so excited about. It's like the imitation of uh, Laguna and Orgasm by NARS. Packaging is pretty much similar to NARS. I kind of feel like they're the NARS wannabes. But... Does that make him, doesn't make them terrible. Um, the blush, I'm not too sure if I'm actually going to use the blush because literally the blush is just kind of gold shimmer. Really not something I enjoy. And, but the bronzer, so excited for it. Like, look at that. Um, and yeah, I'm actually so excited for the bronzer because I love bronzer and I love contouring and stuff. So that should be exciting. My most exciting purchase today. Uh, that's everything that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and keep watch uh, keep watch um, for a video in the next couple weeks. Um, it's an announcement. It's kind of a sad announcement, but it's not completely sad because it means bigger and better things for me. Um, uh, and like always, links in the below bar. I'll even put my Tumblr for you five sauce lovers in there um, um and twitter wapad wapad is always in there it's like my holy grail website without further ado i will let you guys go and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye